Also in the healthcare field today, Canada, we know, expected to spend a record amount on health care provision this year, $300 million plus. That's according to a new report from KIHI, the Canadian Institute for Health Information. It's just published the rate of spending a country, our country has not seen in more than three decades. Janice McGregor has the details in Ottawa. Good morning, Janice. Yeah, good morning, Heather. You know, we're used to headlines about healthcare spending uh, rising faster than inflation, concerns about rising drug costs and an aging population and all those strains that have been on the system for years. But when you see it go up, not by 4%, but by 12% in a year, you know something's really going on a global pandemic. Uh, all the billions involved in this report, though, I think sometimes it's easiest to understand if you translate that into a per capita figure. So here's the, the kind of headline per capita figure from this report. In 2021 now, uh, the cost of total health care spending, that's everything, uh, per person in Canada is now over $8 thousand dollars. And for comparison to kind of the before times, before COVID-19, uh, Kai High's estimates at that point for back in 2019 were that the total spending was about $7,000 per person. So that is a pretty huge leap uh, by any measure. And it includes, of course, not just the additional strain on our hospitals, the additional kind of drug costs, the additional demand for physician services, but also the tremendous public health response it takes to respond to a pandemic like this. You think about all those contact tracers, all those vaccination clinics, that money has to come from somewhere. How? Where does it come? How are Canadians paying for it, Janice? Yeah, and this is the other thing that's interesting about this new set of numbers from Kai Hai, because, of course, they are considering healthcare spending as a whole, which largely in Canada comes from the public purse, from taxpayers, governments, but also comes from private insurance companies. Some people pay for certain things out of pocket. Companies have particular expenses. Now, the share that used to be borne by the taxpayer pre-COVID was about 70%. Now it's risen to about 75%. So with all the pandemic spending that's happened, kind of the, the amount of public spending in the system overall as a percentage of total costs is up. But I think you have to then ask some sustainability questions. Because if you think about government budgets, right? When the economy tanked, when the pandemic kicked in, that hurt the government's bottom line too, right? Tax revenues, demand for other, other services and, and spending. So how sustainable is this for the longer term? Not just in terms of, are we gonna have more waves? Are we gonna have more variants? How much will it cost to help everybody who's caught COVID, recover from COVID? But you also have to think about all those procedures and surgeries that were deferred and postponed. Uh, eventually, those needs have to be met, might be more expensive to fix later rather than sooner. And so COVID could have a long reach. And in terms of driving the debate, political debate, both at the provincial level and I'm imagining come November the 22nd when MPs are back in the House, how could these new numbers drive the discussion? Yeah, because even before this, right, premiers have been warning about how unsustainable things have been. And this report says that at the moment now, uh, as a share of the total kind of budget in provinces and territories, healthcare spending now represents about 40%. That is a huge slice of what these premiers are, are looking at. Now, it does help them, of course, when the federal government comes up with extra billions for pandemic needs as they have through the last 18 months. And the Liberals, of course, in the last election promised that there was going to be more coming down the pipe to deal with backlogs in the system, to help hire more health care workers, train them, recruit them, and so on. But what they really want is long-term sustainable increases to health transfers. They are asking again for a meeting with the federal government on that. They said it needs to happen before the throne speech. But if you look at the calendar, uh, Heather, that is just under three weeks away and we haven't heard about anything in that. Janice, thank you very much. Janice McGregor from Ottawa this morning.